Hi, this is Cayman with s and and today we're showing you our 10-3008 35-gallon uh, water tank. This is a over-the-wheel well water tank that fits on both sides of a Sprinter or a Transit. Today we're showing you it um, installed or positioned on a 170 Sprinter. Also fits the 144 and like I mentioned the Transit. Um, to show you some dimensions of the tank and kind of how the tank works and how we have this set up. Um, First, we'll show you the height of the tank. So the height of the tank is right under 16 inches, so 15 and 3 quarters. The width of the tank is 15 and 3 quarters. And the length of the tank is 46 and 3 quarters. The um, tank comes with a inch and a half spin weld on the bottom half inch here, inch and a half on top, as well as a uh, half inch on the top. Comes with uh, brand new straps to mount the tank. And then also it does come with a half inch or inch and a half spin weld on the very top as well, which is perfect for a uh, KUS 15. So this is a 15 inch and you can see after it's screwed in, it's be right up against the bottom. Our tanks will also work with any kind of externally mounted uh, level sensors as well. Um, the tank comes with plus nuts to mount the straps. So this tank perfectly matches up to the body of the van as, you'll, as you can come see here. So these straps line up with the body panel. So you just drill, drill your hole. Not only does it come with plus nuts, but it also comes with a plus nut activation tool. So this silver piece. So, you know, obviously after you drill the hole, you put your plus nut in. Um, you drop your plus nut in, then you put the plus nut tool over that. This longer bolt gets threaded in and holding this with an open end wrench and tightening down this bolt will activate the plus nut. You'll back out the bolt, remove the plus nut tool and screw in the included hardware and you're all set. Um, I should have mentioned the tank also has spin welds on the front as well. So if you wanna run your pump to the front so you don't have to 90 off here and send, send the water that way, um, it's perfect for that. Just to show you an example, we don't include these fittings, but this is an inch and a half to inch and a quarter barb. This is a half inch to half inch. And I already have a half inch on this line. So if you were running your plumbing here, you'd have your inch and a quarter pushed onto here. And then if your cabinet is right here, it's a perfect amount of clearance. You could also run a 90. You can run a 90 off of there, and you could run a 90 um, inch and a half to inch and a quarter if you're in closer, if you, if you had your cabinet closer, or if you needed to mount the water right here. Um, now we'll get this tank moved over to the uh, to the driver's side, show you what that looks like. Now we're going to swing this tank over to the to the driver's side, and here's a better view of the tank. You can see that the distance in front and behind are the same. So it just wraps around the wheel well. And there's about an inch and a half, two inches of play to it, to um, forward and rearward of the tank. So this is what it looks like on the uh, driver's side, the mounting points. Again, line up with the sheet metal. You have your spin welds on the back. The only thing different now is that the level sensor fitting is in the front. And this is the gravity feed that I was uh, talking about in the last section. Um, it's perfect for an inch and a quarter as well as a half inch vent. So if you're running it right to this face, these lines are perfect. And again, this could be the feed or the front fitting could be the feed. And Running it off a 90 here and a 90 here if you need to mount it to the inside.
And I guess some other dimensions too for you is from, well, this is on a 170, and we'll run it from the metal, the metal here all the way to the tank is 31 and a half. And again, it could get pushed a little bit further forward and it could get pushed a little bit further rearward as well. Uh, if you have any questions on this tank or if you just want to learn more, if you have, or if you are interested in any water tanks for your build, whether if it's the underside, spare tire, or interior tanks, please reach out. Thank you.